The next set of exam questions is all about the blood or the heart. So let's begin with the first one. So this question is about the blood system. John's kidneys are not working properly. His blood system has to be connected to a kidney dialysis machine two or three times a week. The kidney machine does the job of John's kidneys. It removes waste substances from John's blood. The diagram shows how the kidney machine works. Right, um, the first thing is to not be intimidated that this is talking about kidneys. Um, because the revision guide doesn't really talk much about the kidneys, it only mainly talks about the blood or the heart. So as this question be at the beginning tells you that it's about the blood system, so you know it's about the blood or the heart and not about kidneys. So don't be afraid that, oh, you haven't prepared enough for the exams. So carrying on with the question, the diagram shows you that tube X carries blood containing waste to the kidney machine. So blood is being carried away in tube X and it goes through here where waste passes out of tubes Y and then tube Z carries clean blood back to his body. So the question then continues to read, look at the diagram of the kidney machine. The tubes X, Y, and Z do the same jobs as the kidney's blood vessels. Draw lines to join each tube with the vessel it does the same job as. So draw only three lines. Right, so here are your tubes X, Y, and Z, and the blood vessels artery, vein, and capillary. So for two marks, you got to get all three right. So where can you look for some help? Basically, if we go to the revision guide, if you look over here, it says arteries transfer blood away from the heart and veins transfer blood towards the heart and the capillaries exchange materials with the tissues. Now the important thing is arteries away, veins towards. So returning back to the exam question, you can imagine that when the tube carries blood away from the arm, it's like carrying it away from the heart. And when tube Z carries it towards the body, it's like carrying blood towards the heart. So if X is away and Z is towards, X would be the artery and Z would be the veins, leaving this, which is the capillaries, as we know, is in between the arteries and the veins. So therefore, X, artery, Z, vein, Y, capillary. And just like that, two marks. So the next question, the blood from John's arm contains waste substances. Which part of the blood contains waste substances? So for one mark, they're basically asking you to recall your understanding of this section of the book here, where it's talking about the blood. So where in here tells you that um, waste products are being carried in the blood. So if you read here, plasma transports several substances around the body, including waste products from the liver to the kidneys. So therefore, the answer for the one mark is in the plasma. And uh, section C of this question reads, when a doctor checks on John, she listens to his heartbeat. His heart is in the center of his chest. However, she listens to the left side of John's chest where the heartbeat is louder. Why is the heartbeat louder on the left side? So for one mark, they're asking you to recall the anatomy of the heart, which is in this section of the revision guide. You really need to commit this diagram to memory, the labels, everything, the, the overall look, how the left ventricle is bigger, the tubes, the valves. You need to know all of this. You're always going to be tested about the heart. So it's very important to have this understanding in your head. So basically, as you can see from the diagram, the left side is more muscular than the right side, but more specifically, the left ventricle is more muscular. So it is this muscular side that kind of creates a louder heartbeat. So it's easier to hear the heartbeat when you use the stethoscope to listen on the left side of the chest. So as you can see here, the left ventricle is more muscular because it pumps blood under higher pressure around the whole body. So if we're turning back to the exam question, why is the heartbeat louder on the left side? Simply because the left ventricle is more muscular. During pregnancy, a midwife will check the heart of the fetus. Look at the diagram of a heart. The diagram shows four valves. One letter shows a tricuspid valve. Which one? So you're asked to identify which one is a tricuspid valve. So with the aid of our revision guide, we can see that the tricuspid valve is located in the right side of the heart between the right atrium and the right ventricle. So we look for this part of the diagram in the exam question to get the one mark. And as we can see, it's letter B. So the answer will be B. Now, it's very important to know what each letter is pointing to. Like, you need to know that these are the semilunar valves. You need to know that this is the bicuspid valve. So, because you need to refer to these as confirmation that you're pointing to the right answer. Not just, oh, recalling one section, but recalling the other sections that they're pointing to as the other options and knowing that they are the wrong answers to confirm that the letter that you put down is the right answer. So the second section of this exam question talks about what is the function of the tricuspid valve for one mark. Now, with the aid of the revision guide, we are told that the semilunar, tricuspid, and bicuspid valves make sure that blood flows in the right direction, not backwards. So to get the one mark, basically, what you say is 
the function of the tricuspid valve is to prevent backflow. Or if you want to be like specific and fancy, you can say it prevents backflow from the right ventricle into the right atrium. But just to say prevent backflow is enough. So the final question for this exam question. The left ventricle has a thicker muscle wall than the right ventricle. Explain why. Well, um, we kind of we already know the answer to this because it's similar to the previous question that we had just done. And basically, the left ventricle is more muscular because it pumps blood under higher pressure around the whole body. So you need to mention these three lines to get that one mark. So the next exam question is all about the heart. So let's zoom in and begin. So the diagram shows the heart with the letter X labeled to a particular part of the heart. So part X is a valve. Write down the name of part X. So for one mark, you should be recalling the anatomy of the heart, which is this diagram here. The arrow is pointing to this part of the heart, which is a semilunar valve. So to get the one mark, you would write semilunar valve along here. So arteries do not contain valves, but veins do. Explain why veins need valves. So for one mark, you have to understand how blood works in the arteries and in the veins. As mentioned here at the bottom, blood pumped into the arteries is under much higher pressure than the blood in the veins. So basically, the blood flowing in the veins is under lower pressure. Now, if you don't have valves, it's possible that when blood in the veins, because they're under lower pressure, they can actually backflow. They won't flow in the right direction, they'll be flowing backwards. And that can cause serious problems in the body. So explain why um, veins need valves, because it prevents backflow as blood in the veins flow at much lower pressure than arteries. So Bob has a problem with his heart. One of the valves is not working properly. So this affects how his heart works. Suggest how. To get the one mark, you can just write because there'll be backflow of blood. And that's enough. One way of treating heart problems is by heart transplants. Another way is by using mechanical replacements for the damaged parts. Describe one disadvantage of heart transplants compared to using mechanical replacements. So for one mark, basically they're asking you to recall your memory from this section here about heart transplants. I mean, there's so many reasons. Major expensive operation, replacement heart must come from a dead donor, long waiting list. I mean, the list goes on. But the point is you should only need to memorize about one or two points whenever you're talking about these type of heart transplants or any ethical issues about heart transplants. So the probably the best two answers to remember is risk of rejection. That's one, because they talk about it here, avoid rejection. And the second one would be long waiting time for suitable donor. So risk of rejection and long waiting times for suitable for donor is what you need to remember in this section pretty much. And that will answer this question for one mark. So just like that, four marks in what, less than one minute, two minutes maximum. So here we have some more heart exam questions. So it reads, scientists are trying to develop new treatments for heart attacks. Heart attacks may cause heart muscle to be damaged. Heart attacks are often caused by cholesterol. Explain how cholesterol can cause problems in blood vessels for two marks. So all those for two marks, you notice there's only two lines of writing. So they expect you to like summarize it very short. So where they're asking you to recall your memory is this section here. So if we zoom in, it basically reads, a buildup of cholesterol can cause a hard plaque to form in the wall of the artery. This plaque bulges into the lumen, restricting or blocking blood flow through the artery. Now, this is what you need to get to two marks, but you can't really fit this in the two lines of the exam paper. So basically, what they're asking you to do is kind of like summarize your information. So if you just have a few keywords from the first sentence and a few keywords from the second sentence, that will get you the mark. One mark from each of the sentences. Just trying to help you get the feel that GCSE is all about like succinct answers. I mean... The understanding is in paragraphs, but you just need to kind of draw out the keywords to get these answers. So in this example, what you would say is hard plaque can form blocking blood flow. And that's enough to actually get the two marks. So basically, start the habit of when you read through these revision guides to kind of summarize sentences and just get the keywords and memorize those keywords. And then once you recall those keywords, you should know that they are part of a bigger sentence, which will give you the appreciation of what that memorized sentence means but you don't need to memorize word for word these chunks and chunks of sentences for example like heart transplants as in the previous exam question you just need to know it's risk of rejection long waiting list and you know the general idea of other answers that you could give but you don't need to memorize it if you're under a short period of time for revision so this is all about effective learning effective revision so going back to the exam question uh, the scientists insert a small tube into a blood vessel in the leg. The tube is moved along inside the blood vessel so that it enters the heart. 
They use this tube to inject stem cells into the heart muscle. So you see X is pointing to the tube. So the tube enters the heart through the blood vessel labeled X. Write down the name of blood vessel X. Well, you should know that this is the aorta. So just like that, three marks in less than a minute. So the next exam question is about the arteries and the veins. If we zoom in, it says, look at the diagram of an artery and a vein. So here's your artery and here's your vein. So the main adaptation of arteries is that it's got a thick muscle wall. And in the case of a vein, it's got large lumen. So explain why the artery has a thick muscle wall. And then it asks you to explain why the vein has a large lumen. So two marks, one marks each. So where you need to recall is two areas of the book, actually, the revision guide. So if you recall, arteries transport blood away from the heart under high pressure and veins transport blood back towards the heart at lower pressure because here blood pumped into the arteries is under much higher pressure than the blood in the veins. So if you then look at here where it says arteries, veins and capillaries have special adaptations to help with their function. Arteries have to cope with the high pressure of blood so they have a thick wall made of elastic muscle fibers because arteries have to cope with the high pressure of blood. And that would answer the first question, explain why the artery has a thick muscle wall. As for the vein, why it has a large lumen, well it's because it carries blood back towards the heart at lower pressure. A large lumen is required to help prevent backflow of blood along with the use of valves. So that would get you too much. So the areas where you need to draw your understanding from is pretty much the same area each time, you know. But they're just going to test you on these areas in different wording. Just like that, two marks. And let's move on to the final exam question on blood and the heart. The question is asking you to look at the picture. It shows a mechanical heart. Mechanical hearts have been used to help patients while they wait for a heart transplant. Finish the sentences about the heart. Use words from the list. Right, so you got two marks to fill in two gaps. So I'm guessing that one mark is for each gap filled in. So the mechanical heart contains valves to prevent. The heart is attached to blood vessels. The vessels taking blood away from the heart are called right so we know that the purpose of valves is to prevent backflow and we know this because we've seen it here at the bottom where it says semilunar tricuspid and bicuspid valves make sure that blood flows in the right direction not backwards basically to prevent backflow so the word to place here is backflow the heart is then attached to blood vessels the vessels taking blood away from the heart are called arteries and we know that because we've seen it before where arteries transport blood away from the heart let's see that in more detail arteries transport blood away from the heart and veins transport blood towards the heart so we know the answer has to be arteries so just like that two marks so write down one problem in using mechanical hearts well as mentioned before from this section here all you need to memorize is there's the possible risk of rejection or a long waiting time for suitable donors but in this case where the question is asking the problem of using mechanical hearts, the answer will be the risk of rejection. And finally, some people need heart transplants because cholesterol can cause damage to their heart. Describe how cholesterol buildup could damage the heart. So for one mark, they're asking you to recall the same section that we've already visited and that a buildup of cholesterol can cause a heart plaque to form in the wall of the artery. This plaque bulges into the lumen, restricting or blocking blood flow through the artery. So the answer is basically blocking blood flow through the artery. And that will get you the one final mark. So in a total of four marks in less than two minutes.